right, you don't get to be an Oscar winner and a rock star by thinking small. Jared Leto is a perfect example of that. We're catching up with the actor slash singer today to talk about his ambitious new project with his band. Hi, it's Jared Leto. Together with my band, 30 Seconds to Mars, we are filming an ambitious new project called A Day in the Life of America. Jared Leto and 30 Seconds to Mars want to know what America means to you, whether you're American or not. Terry Hart caught up with Leto to talk about A Day in the Life of America, a project billed as a, quote, filmed portrait of the country that's closely tied to their highly anticipated fifth studio album. We both have um, almost similar blouses on. Yes. You are embarking on an incredible project right now. Yeah. A Day in the Life of America we shot on a single day. Uh, in the United States. It was incredible, insane, amazing. Really, I, for me personally, one of the more exciting things I've ever done in my life as a creative person. We'll capture 24 hours in the life of our country and we need your help. We ask people all over the world to submit footage and tell us, uh, answer two questions. What does America mean to you and what do you think about the American dream? So it was a global project. Um, about the United States at, at, at what I think is a really important time and it all ties together with our new album which is the soundtrack for the film. We'll have more on that album, which has been four years in the making, closer to its release date. Of course, Terry had to veer away from music for just a moment to ask Leto about another amazing film project he's involved in, the cult classic sequel Blade Runner 2049, in which he plays the creepy villain. Replicants are the future, but I can only make so many. What has that experience of jumping into that been like? Blade Runner is one of my favorite films of all time. It was incredible working with Harrison and the director, Denis, and, and Ridley, and it's just incredible. I mean, it doesn't happen very often that you get that opportunity. Catch Leto in Blade Runner 2049 when it hits theaters in October. I'm so short. <laughs> um, should I stand on a box? Do I need an apple box? Mm. That's a good question. It's fine. I'll just stand on my toes. His height is just one advantage Milos Raonic brings to the tennis court. I caught up with a Thornhill, Ontario native as he prepares for the Rogers Cup in Montreal next month. Pretty fresh off of a loss to Roger Federer at the Wimbledon quarterfinals two weeks ago. So what would winning this cup mean to you? Oh, it would be a great thing, not only just in that moment, just succeeding on Canadian soil yes. at home, but just also for the storyline of where I've been this year, struggling a little bit at the beginning of the year. It, it could be a nice uh, sort of turnaround. Well, the last I checked, you ranked number nine, and, you know, the four other top dudes are kind of getting a little older, so do you think that'll pave the way, make some room for you well, in the next generation? Wait. I don't want to wait till they get old. Ah, I love that answer. Thank you so much. Up Thank top. you very much. Give me five. Thank you. Sweet. The Rogers Cup kicks off next weekend in Montreal and Toronto. Tune in tomorrow for our chat with another Canadian tennis star, Jeannie Bouchard.